It's July 9th. <laughs> Good to be back. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Watch Your Weekly, presented by Breather, a show where we kick back, chat, and answer your guys' questions to the best of our ability. As always, if you'd like to reach out to us, swing by We Are Watcher, We Are Watcher, We Are Watcher, Patreon.com slash Watcher, YouTube.com slash Watcher, Facebook.com slash Watcher Entertainment, YouTube.com slash Watcher Podcasts. Swing on by the C tab! That's where most of our questions come. That's a community tab on YouTube. Oh, and we got a nutty vibes today. I'll say we got nutty vibes. Uh, nutty vibes. Uh, Look, I've been listening to fireworks for the past month. We're in the chill zone, by the way. It's the chill zone. We're talking about fireworks. The fireworks thing is very strange. I've, I've heard it's just because they're super cheap right now. I, I've mm. heard some other stuff. Like, people just finding boxes of fireworks in random places. Man, if I found a box of fireworks, I'd be the happiest little boy. I think I might be blasting off some fireworks this weekend. You mean last weekend? Because this was- Last oh, weekend. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I'm dead now. Fireworks accident, I died. Lately, I've become addicted to, it's a new kind of like, calming video, where you're just sitting and kind of basking in something. But it's videos of people just walking around cities for like an hour or two. Sometimes it'll be like London in the rain, certain neighborhood of Tokyo, and they'll just walk without commentary for like an hour. I can't recommend it enough. I don't know what the channel is. Now that you do that, I'm going to make a scripted video, unbeknownst to you, where a person is walking around Japan in a very ambient, peaceful way, and then they run into a mugger and it turns very dark. And now they're being tied up in a basement. No one knows what's going on. You hear like, well, that's the thing. help me. Sarah and I were saying when we were watching it, we were like, someone should make a channel where like, this is their thing, but then you like start to see like a figure or like a, like a monster and just turn it into a horror movie where you start to like plant the seeds for some sort of narrative. Great minds think alike. I mean, I don't want to talk about my life because it's pretty boring, but. You moved! This is the first time I'm filming in this new space. As you can see, I have a nice blank wall behind me and great lighting coming from the you side You look better here. than you ever have before. Oh, thank you. You know, if you cover up Shane's window, yeah. and you just look at him on his Zoom screen, he actually looks like he's been shrunk by like a shrink ray. And he's just a tiny little man hiding behind a, a giant <laughs> cell phone. Pretend like you're picking up a giant wait, cell wait, phone. Wait, wait, right wait, here. This is my dream, as you know, I'd like yeah, to- Yeah, I know, exactly. Home. Here I am, Pick climbing up. over my phone. <laughs> It good. looks so good. It looks so good. That was good. You should build, like, bake a giant cookie for the next Watcher Weekly. Mouse Maday. It's funny that this has come up so many times because it, it came up in Are You Scared? And it came up in something else recently. Oh, it came up uh, in the Pixar debate because I talked about how I wanted to be little. That's why I love yeah. Ratatouille. But someone uh, submitted fan art of me sleeping in a matchbox and it was That's the great. most wonderful thing I've well, ever let's seen. Let's get more. Hashtag Mouse Maday. Let's, let's <laughs> Mouse see, more, Maday. see more of that fan art from Mouse Mouse Maday and uh, send we'll, me we'll on adventures. On Watcher Weekly. Make me sword fight a rat with like a Ooh. toothpick or something. I have yeah. an idea. Or one of those, sand one of those plastic Stuart sandwich Little. swords. Yeah. Throw a GoPro on a mouse in somewhere random around the world. Uh -huh. And that gives Shane the true experience. Get one hour of footage of ambient mouse walking around the city and you can truly experience life as a mouse. No, that seems be... like animal cruelty, Steve. Yes, it does. GoPros are pretty large. You're a sicko. I'll say it. <laughs> You're He's a, a rotten sicko. boy. He's a nasty boy. Do it, do it. Well, do okay, it, do all right. I'll do, do, it. do it again, do it again. What's that noise in the living room? <laughs> <laughs> we have fun. All right, let's move on to some questions. We've been in the chill zone far too long, but whatever. Before we move on to questions, if you didn't catch it on our socials, we dropped the trailer for season two of Weird Wonderful World, which is premiering this Friday. I'm sorry. We didn't okay. turn your go-kart on. <laughs> that was Ryan's fault. The world is weird. And I'm taking my curious little pal Ryan Bergara around to explore every last <laughs> bit of it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sing it with me. I gotta say, it was weird. But it's tipping a little more toward wonderful in my book.
There's gonna be five new episodes, one every week. So that's exciting. It was going to be an eight episode season. And as you know, the world plunged into chaos. So we all went Man. to hide in our homes. <laughs> Five it is. And in honor of that weird, wonderful season, uh, we have a weird and or wonderful video from my video vault that we're going to be watching Ooh. later today. Let's hit some cues. Again, if you want to ask questions for Watch Weekly, head over to the community tab. The C tab. The C tab. You can also post on Patreon, patreon.com slash watcher. First question. <laughs> First question comes from Roman America Alga. What is the max word slash page count if we want to enter a story for Are You Scared? Mm, good this cue. Is a good cue. This is a very good cue. I have found that the sweet spot for stories is about in the 2500 word range. The oh, sweet spot for an ideal story to be featured on Are You Scared? And that includes both uh, fictional stories and uh, true stories. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to vet these stories for when we film because that's part of it. So uh, when you're submitting stories, especially when they're true, make sure that they kind of are formatted as if they were a tall tale. Yeah, put some sauce on it, you know, put some sauce. And uh, the other fun thing is I like it when the stories like the um, like the call center one started out as like, I don't know, this could go either way. It seems kind of realistic. And then like yeah. halfway through it was like, well, clearly this is bullshit. Ideally, you have us on the hook almost all the way till the end that we don't know which way it's going. It's actually interesting the idea that people could be catering their stories to the format now. It's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, this question assumes that we are, in fact, greenlighting a season of Are You Scared? So can you confirm or deny? It would appear that it is coming back. Sarah pointed out it's the show is less scary if you imagine her playing Animal Crossing in the room next to me, which is has been the case every time we shoot. Uh, I've actually been home alone every time we record those. Oh, really? Wasn't Mari there for one episode, though? She, she came in at, at the very point, end of episode two. She's looking at me right now. She's She looks very proud out of herself. Oh, okay, that's real mature. Real mature. <laughs> Mr. Bergara? Mr. Bergara, Steven has a question. He's very politely uh, raising his hand. Yeah. What do you want, Steven? Mr. Mr. Bergara, <laughs> are, you be, are you going to be accepting self-tapes uh, for season two? No, but get to writing those <laughs> stories. Here's a question from M. Gorenson. Steven, what color are you gonna dye your hair next? Personally, I think you'd look great with lavender. Lavender. I, I have done lavender before. It yeah, looked what about tie dye, dude? You're right. What about a big fucking? Hair, what about a big fucking bullseye? Hey, what's your name? You'd be like, my name is Bullseye, baby. <laughs> and then you headbutt them. You just headbutt them. Or convert, another use of that is if someone says like a really funny retort or comment, you could go, <laughs> Bullseye. You turn around. Yeah. It's a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's so that's good. the answer to that question. Here, take take a snapshot of this, and okay. just Photoshop that into what color you want me to do. And if I like it, I'll do it. If I don't, I won't. Whoa. Steven, have you ever thought about doing something crazy like a, in addition to hair dye, like a cool cut, like a mohawk or something? Ah, <sighs> here's the problem. Okay, let's get into this. The reason why I cut my hair in this fashion is because I'm lazy. I don't want to have to be yeah. grooming a mohawk or buzzing the sides or doing whatever. How long is your hair right now, scalp. by the way? Shane, let's look at a... A mine? Uh, it's quite, it's my, wow. <laughs> Look at it when it's down, it's pretty nuts. It's fun to go back to our roots. Remember when we started uh, this company, 90% of Watcher Weekly content was just us talking about <laughs> our hair. Yeah, and, that's um, true. Now we're back. But I like this because I can go, oh, hello there. Oh. This is a good look, honestly. Okay, this I like this question a lot. This comes from Ava Sullivan. And Ava says, if all three of you had fused together into one person, what would you be like? I.e. personality, physical traits, behavior. I like this because it reminds me of Dragon Ball Z when I believe it's like Gohan and Trunks do the fusion dance. Uh, I don't uh, know what okay. our fused version would be. Would it be like a some kind of chimera? Is that uh, what are we going for here? I guess I'm imagining like awful Cronenberg version of ourselves, where we're just like screaming and we're like kill us because we've, <laughs> we've mutated into something awful. Shane and I ran into a guy in London who looked exactly like if Shane and I's heads smashed together. Mm. Maybe someone can Photoshop all three of us into a. Uh, 
common human. There and it is. And we'll see. But personality trait wise. We'd probably be incredibly neutral because everything would just cancel each other out. <laughs> or we'd be a monster. Talking too much, making off color jokes, peeing on things. <laughs> Non-confrontational, but also peeing on things. For more pee talk, swing over to youtube.com slash watch for podcasts. Yeah, that's right. Let's move on to our final segment. It's video vault time. As we said, in honor of weird and or wonderful world, we're digging into a weird and or wonderful video from Whoa. my past. This is from 2007. You can see it has uh, 23,000 views and um, it, you can add, scroll down and just look at some of the comments on here. They're a little off put by it. I feel like I've accidentally entered the deep web. This felt like it went on for 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into it, but Shane, before we watch it, is there anything that we should know about this time of your life? Where were you, what were you doing, why did you make this? Uh, I was going to Columbia College Chicago, which is the school I went to, but my friend Joe, who Ryan has met, we've gone to Disneyland with yeah. him. He was also a film student, but he had to take animal biology. That's the one he picked. Oh, weird. And he was like, uh, I gotta make a dumb video for this. And I was like, let's make a video. It'll be fun, we'll just shoot it in front of a green screen. And I had uh, come up with this weird professor character named Morris Ashley. And the idea was that it was like a weird educational show where he was trying to reach out to the youth and be cool by doing fun little rap songs, uh, which has become my career now. This is the precursor to everything. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, take it away. Hello, I'm Professor Morris Ashley. Welcome to another exciting episode of Extreme Science. Oh. Hey, uh... Okay. Did you do all these effects yourself, Shane? Yeah, of course, yeah. How did you do the spinning one? Uh, I, I spun in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you yeah. look pretty similar to how you look now. Yeah, yeah that's true. Normally people's face, I mean, change, oh, uh, no. face shape changes over time. Welcome to today's episode. And we said that it was I'm like... introduce today's episode is a very good friend of mine with a very peculiar problem. His I don't even know what accent. I think this is supposed to be yeah. an English Why accent. It's a... Thank you. Oh, look, it's Joe. Yeah. Thank you, Professor Ashley. Um, I'm here today because I have a question. <laughs> I have a dog, and I wanted to know... So it's very odd. Um, Rent, let me assure you, you're not alone in this problem. I love this background that you guys definitely needed to green screen in. Uh, an yeah. office background that you definitely could not have found. That your looks school. like <laughs> it was at your university. <laughs> yeah, well, we wanted it to look like a weird science bunker. Yeah, it looks like a uh, basement. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah, the episode See, that's is used a green screen. Yeah, thank wait, you. Um, you jumped into like a time warp and then ended up in the same place? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is full of the dumbest <laughs> humor. <laughs> um, but the, the episode is called Why Is My Dog Dying? Um, <laughs> Well, she's dying, I'm pretty uh, sure. Brent base um, or Rent Harrison to comes to Morris Ashley. The the idea was that this was like a lost episode of some sort of educational series, uh, mm -hmm. and we had actually written more uh, where there would be like more Morris Ashley adventures, uh, and then we never filmed them. But actually. You know, maybe I'll do it when I'm 50 and well, actually, it's actually an old man. You won't even need the mustache, you'll have no. uh, see, become that character. You will have become Morris Ashley. Look at those great 2007 sideburns. Uh, yeah. yeah, those are good. Since she's not getting enough really good. <laughs> like real Wait, are those your actual sideburns? Those yeah. are my real sideburns, yeah. Wow. They're pretty good. Uh, We'll, we'll make it to the first rap break here, and then we can probably stop, because it goes on Is that a jelly bean behind while. ES, by the way? Oh, no, here's a rap break. Now that, yes, yeah, so again, the whole joke here was that he's just an English man trying to cash in on youth culture. And he's singing a rap song about the biology of dogs. I sweat, Is dogs this? don't sweat. Is this uh, highly influenced and informed by the uh, SNL digital shorts? the rap videos from that time, because this is around the I same wondered. time, I right? wondered, this was 2007. Uh, yeah, it's about uh, the same. The, the Narnia one came out 
Was this me? Oh, seven. Was this before that? The whole idea is that the video they explore like the possible reasons why his dog could be sick, and then mm. at the end we can just jump to the end. Each rap has like a different theme to it. There he's in New York, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you have like three jackets on too. To yeah, I just put a bunch of layers on on top of his suit. But Professor Ashley, I don't, I don't get it. If that's not one of the reasons, then why else would my dog be dying? Well, it could be one of her senses. Rap break! Dogs versus humans. One final rap break. Let's do this. Here we go. Dog sense of sight? Oh, shit. And then this is just about the different Yo, senses. This is a that, banger. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Humans do. It's been a while since I've been uh, outside, so I don't hear what we have music. There's a thrilling conclusion to it. I love the. Uh, the, the the stuttering frame freeze frames like those yeah. are, was that intentional if it is that's great yes yeah, so it, it was an accident and then I was like this looks great I'll keep it this way <laughs> yeah it's great if it's, it's not good any stuff. of those things why is my dog dying it's all I want to know is why is my dog dying Red she's old she's just <laughs> old and old dogs die. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's episode. Tune in next week. Oh, that's it. Sorry, I got distracted because Brittany sneezed and her hair got stuck on her face in the form of a mustache. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> it was stuck like this. <laughs> anyway, that's it. The conclusion of the video is that old dogs die. Um, yeah, yeah, that's oh. it. It's and good And then stuff. the um, actual sad uh, button to this is that um, Joe's dog uh, died. Um, about oh, wow. a month after we shot this. Um, oh no. Yeah, that's that. It's it's very strange because that is, uh, you know, just this dumb thing that we made. And it's very funny that out of all the things I worked on in film school, that that is the thing that most people have seen from my career at Columbia College Chicago. Holy shit, that's actually a good point. I haven't checked my old channel to see. Oh wait, no, I think I just made all of my old stuff private. <laughs> I, I have a lot of other videos that you know, one day we can unearth, but that's mm -hmm. the one I've kept up because it's just so uh, unique. Well, I think that does it for this week's Watcher Weekly. Don't forget to watch the new episode, the season premiere of Weird and or Wonderful World on Friday. As always, if you'd like to submit anything for future episodes, swing by We Are Watcher, We Are Watcher, We Are Watcher, patreon.com slash watcher, youtube.com slash watcher, uh, uh, watcher podcast, C-tab, whatever. I don't know. We'll see you next week, everybody. Bye.